Like somebody's gonna escort me out and like out of the building, like take me out of the building. Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Um, you don't know how long I've been wanting to record my first day experience. And um, honestly, it's just been so surreal that I just wanted to take it all in before I share it with the world. So that's what I did. I have been at Google for about eight months and I feel like right now is the right time to talk, kind of talk about it. And we're all stuck in quarantine and there's nothing better to do. <laughs> well, there are a lot of better things to do, but I want to do this. So before we get to jump into the my first day at Google experience, make sure to please subscribe to my channel and also like this video and let me know in the comments what you think. So let's get into it. Before um, I talk about my first day experience, there's like some backstory that you kind of need to know. So basically, I interviewed at Google in October 2019. I got my job offer in November 2019 and I started at Google. My first day was in December 2019. So October, November, December, kind of like three months, uh, which is kind of like from a Google standpoint, it's kind of like a short time frame because I, if you know, like Google takes a long time to kind of get back to you and all of that. I started December 2nd was my first day. So before I, so as soon as I accepted my offer, I signed my offer. I started receiving emails from like the Google onboarding team, as well as like my interviewers, my manager, my teammates that just made me feel so welcome and like just even more excited to start. So with the Google um, onboarding team, I, I just loved how efficient they were. So before, before joining um, Google, I was working at Amazon. I was there for about six years and that was my first job at um like out of college so i have had like i had like a big tech company experience before joining google so so but i was like really amazed and like really actually um impressed by the how efficient the system was and how they were like so engaging and like so welcoming and the 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 people as well as like the system that is built around like the new hire onboarding and stuff like that so i received an email from the onboarding team to kind of like set my i think like about two weeks before i started getting emails from them to like set my username pick which laptop i want like and i picked the picked macbook pro and so my orientation my first day which is the first week is the orientation was going to happen in the new york city google office so they kind of like helped me with the travel arrangements and it took like less than like 20 minutes i was on the phone call with them i gave them like my uh, preference for like date date and time and airline and I also got to use my like sky mileage my airline mileage so I thought that was cool um, so the day before the, um, and also like I started receiving a lot of emails from my teammates like who I, I was going to be working with and my managers my skip managers and people who I interviewed with who interviewed me and that just made me feel so welcome like I that was really anxious before my first day and I think that just helped with my anxiety and also like gave me an opportunity and access to those people for me to like ask them questions before actually my first day started so I was really happy about that part um, I got to know them and I got to like chat with them before every before even the the actual process like actual days official days started so I was really impressed by that as well I arrived so my orientation was on December 2nd I arrived in New York I live in Seattle so from Seattle to New York about five hours flight I took a direct flight um, so I got to from Seattle to New York I got there about 8 30 p.m sunday night and i checked into the dream hotel and the dream hotel was just dreamy <laughs> I, it, I, if you haven't seen that hotel like um i like new york city is amazing it has a lot of cool things but like the dream hotel was very dreamy it was like the bougiest one of the bougiest place i don't know if that's a word but it was really bougie the the there's a flower wall there's like a, the whole hotel just like feels like out of this place kind of like you feel it, it's like so dreamy okay i'll stop talking about dream hotel <laughs> it is so pretty wow so many picture spots immediately i was like okay i'm gonna take picture here take picture here take picture here all right focus i checked in and then i got grabbed something to eat for dinner and then i kind of i wanted to go to bed early because i wanted to wake up early i wanted to work out and take a shower and like also like 
uh, dress up and do my face and hair. So I went to bed early. I put an alarm clock on for 6 a.m. My the orientation starts started at 9 a.m. So I had like good three hours to do like everything that I wanted to do during that time. So I got my outfit ready. I went to bed. I slept really, really well like a baby. Next morning I woke up, I got ready, got my breakfast. And then I around 8.30 a.m. I started walking to the building, which was one block down from the hotel, the hotel there where I was staying. And the hotel was like the office that my my location was the orientation location was like near the Chelsea market area for those of you who are from New York would probably know but like it's like there's the market underneath like the first floor is just like a market kind of like a uh, fresh market like with seafood and all of like flowers and like bunch of stuff and then the rest of the floors on top of it is like Google offices like I think eight seven floors so that was like unique and like um, just a unique experience. So I got there at 8 30 a.m. And I wanted to get there early because <laughs> I was just like so anxious just to see like what's gonna happen What's gonna happen? So I got there and uh, there was already a long line there of people standing there So it turned out I wasn't the only one like overly excited to for my first day at Google So I got in the line I think the line was pretty long and the line was basically for the check-in the registration desk I was really nervous at that point and it f still felt like so unreal um, that I was, I was just nervous and I didn't like um, make small talk or I didn't talk to anybody in the line because <laughs> I just wanted to be quiet. I just wanted to like handle my nerves. After like some time in the line, I finally got to the reg registration desk where they basically asked me to check in with my name. They asked my username and also they gave me a temporary badge with the, with the security tokens. And then the line steered toward another room where we would set up like security token, like our username and password and like, and attach it to the security token. Well, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, I'm not gonna explain. So the final destination after that room was the orientation room. So the orientation room was about like a big conference room, like any other conference room. Um, I think it has like at least like 50 seats in it with like facing the podium. And then there were like two projectors on each side of the room. Before we could take a seat, um, I got to take their badge photos taken. So another line. So uh, got into a line, got my badge photo taken, and then everybody would have to like go around the room and like find the chair that has their name on it. So um, after taking the picture, I went around, I found the, my name, which was all the way in the back. I was happy because I was already nervous. <laughs> Normally I like to sit in the first or second row, but like that was fine for me. And then my laptop was already there. They put laptop on the chair as well. So while I was waiting for everybody else to flow in, I kind of um, set up my laptop, logged in with the username and password that I just set up in the previous room and um, grabbed some coffee, some refreshment and Finally, the orientation started, uh, I think around like 9 or 9.30. And then immediately the, the presenters or the team just started introducing us to like Google culture, important dates for the new hires, like the, what we need to keep in mind, like in the next week or so. We got to learn a lot about like Google history, how it started and all that kind of like stuff. And also like the culture, like what makes it unique self and why like people want to like work there or people work there and don't leave <laughs> in a way they really enjoy what they do after that was lunchtime they split everybody into um, small groups and assigned a group leader and the group leader would basically was basically an employee uh, an existing google employee um, and he did a quick poll on like where you want to go for lunch because there are so many options there are so many google buildings around and each building has like multiple cafeterias and i honestly like i was really excited about this part because free food <laughs> free fancy food who doesn't want it the group that i was in we decided to like stay in the same building where we were so our group leader just took us to that cafeteria and immediately as soon as i entered the cafeteria i was just blown away and it was it was everything <laughs> the food just looked so fancy like i'll show some pictures here or here but like this food was just really fancy I was like, this is like the food, the type of food that I would eat 
on my birthday or like on my anniversary but it's good like only for special occasions but now i get to eat it every day which is like crazy <laughs> yeah that was good um so i got to um like everybody grabbed food and then we sat on a table and then i got to like chat with people in my group got to learn about their experience and like it seemed like i wasn't the only one nervous or anxious like everybody was like anxious for their first day and like their experience like funny happened while i was sitting um halfway through my lunch so before joining google i used to attend a lot of google events i thought somebody is going to escort me out like for a few seconds i just thought like somebody's gonna escort me out and like out of the building like take me out of the building and let me tell you like why i thought that that so before joining google i actually attended a lot of google events extra as an external guest and in most of those events the agenda would go something like this check-in talks refreshment and then escorting out and that's exactly what happened this morning check-in uh talks refreshment food and now time to escort out but then it just hit me right then and there that no, I freaking have a badge now. <laughs> I am not leaving. <laughs> Nobody's gonna escort me out. So I thought that was like super, like that was like my aha moment. And, and for me, like that is what made, like that moment made this whole thing from a dream to a reality. So that was my like pinch moment. <laughs> pinch me kind of moment uh, yeah so I think after that I started kind of like feeling more myself but um, and I like I that right then and there I decided like okay dude I have a badge like I'm gonna go around all the office buildings on my own after the orientation ends and I'm gonna visit it and I'm just gonna explore it by myself because I can freaking do it now <laughs> I don't need a buddy or I don't need somebody right next to me to take me around <laughs> how cool <laughs> After that, later we finished lunch, we got to have good conversation, I got to connect with a lot of people in my group. And after that, my our group leader took us around to show the building that we were in. And um, that was just like one of the, the, the New York office is so freaking amazing. Every floor has its own theme. And like, if you're new there, it kind of feels like a maze like a beautiful maze and very interesting maze like every maze like every every floor you just want to stay there and explore a little bit more and then you go to the next one you just want to explore a little bit more uh, but like this was like since we had to like squeeze it in into the day one so this was like a short tour so I think it was like about 30 40 minutes and then we did like a quick tour and then we came back in, and that gave me even a more motivation to go back again like check all those spots on my own later on there was a rock climbing wall um rock climbing wall which i thought was like super cool like there's office like there's desk and like right behind us there's a rock climbing wall so you, if you're bored if you get bored of working you can just like start climbing the rocks <laughs> there was a tea room the, the tea room was super cool it had like the wall had like the cups and you it had like all sort of teas that you could imagine so it was just like super cool and uh, there was a game room like it had like any possible game you can imagine like video games like board games and snooker and like a bunch of other games that i don't even know the names of but <laughs> uh the base the basketball like where you like throw a basketball you put coins in but this was like all no coins like because it's unlimited you can like throw the so it was it almost felt like i was in like one of those family fun center kind of <laughs> So, and that was like all this, like one floor different, one floor different, one floor different. And then every building, this was just one building. And then every building has like something else to offer. And every building has like its own like personality, you can say, or theme, you can say. So that was a really cool experience. And then we all went back to the orientation room again, where the rest of the date was just presentations, like talking more about Google itself, more about the culture, the principles, and like the people and all that kind of like good stuff that you are supposed to know as a new hire. Um, and like some important like stuff or like, like your signing bonus, like things that you need to do, like for like your, your retirement account and like anything like you can name it. Um, and I think that went on, that went on around like 4 p.m. And then after that, everybody was allowed to like go home. <laughs> and I was gonna go home to just put my bag there, my computer there, 
and then I was gonna go around like take circles and that's exactly what I did I put my the, my hotel was like one block down so I put my laptop and all the stuff that they gave us in the hotel room I came right back to the <laughs> to the building and I started exploring and I had a blast like I went to the cafes there's free coffee by the way like the free like that was my favorite favorite like to date this my I think now that we are in quarantine I miss the food but like when I was there I just love the cafe and the free coffee um, and everything like there are different kinds of any tiny type of coffee you can imagine and it's all free so that was the best part <laughs> um, so uh, there is like also like I think there was like an ice cream place like, like it's been eight, it's been eight months so my memory is kind of weak but there were like so many things that I feel like I was there for one week and I couldn't I couldn't like kind of like experience all of it because I needed like more days so that's how my first day ended I later like later in the day so the dinner was at like 6 p.m. so like after exploring the buildings I went back to the cafeteria which I picked like because dinners were served in like multiple cafeterias so I got to pick I got to see so there's like the, there's a phone app where you can actually see the menu which cafeteria has what like which cuisine they're offering today what they have for lunch what they have for dinner so I just looked that, through that app quickly and then I went to the one of the cafeterias where I had like seafood um, and I grabbed dinner and I ate and then I think I just came home or I don't know if I went around the block I don't remember and I was just like exhausted by the end of the day but it was just a great overall experience like my first day was just amazing um, and so as I said like before the, the orientation was about one week long so this was I wanted to focus on the first day specifically because the rest of the days were very similar I had dissipated the first day the most <laughs> so that's why I wanted to share it um, but it was similar thing um, and and then there was a third day then the fourth day and then finally got to the graduation ceremony all right so this is the hat so this is the graduation ceremony and basically everybody got to be um i'm gonna put a video here as well basically everybody got one hat which says noogler and it has like this cool fan thing on it which is pretty cool very nerdy but cool uh, so everybody got to wear a graduation hat and that was like basically a whole ceremony we took pictures and like I'll link somewhere here where we kind of like threw the hat <laughs> it was just like super cool of experience like I don't think any other um, like Amazon didn't do that I'm not sure about any other organization so I thought that was just like pretty cool like <laughs> um, so yeah we got these hats and uh, they had like a big banner that said congratulations Nooglers so Nooglers is basically new Googlers so they call them Nooglers so I was Noogler up until six months I think I'm still a Noogler because I still don't know what I'm doing <laughs> but, oh after that like after the graduation ceremony after taking pictures boomerangs and all of that stuff we went to uh, one of the cafes where the happy hour was arranged so basically everybody who was in the Nubler cohort we all went and just continued the celebration over happy hour and uh, that was just like a perfect ending uh, relaxing ending to the Nubler orientation week hope you enjoyed this video and um, if you have any questions comments like please put them below and i would be happy to answer those but like overall I think I have like that was like one of the best experience like the first day experience because it was like also in a different city so I, I was already like kind of like in vacation mode I don't know if vacation mode is the right word but I was just like away from home like less worries about the kids and what's gonna cook what's gonna be cooked tonight what's gonna be who's watching the kids and all this stuff so I, that was already was taken care of so I could like solely focus on the orientation itself and I got to make some friends who I exchanged like we exchanged contacts and um, we're like eight months down the road and we're still like in touch uh, with each other after the orientation ended the week following that and Friday everybody got off because the orientation ended on Thursday and Friday I flew down back to Seattle and then Monday was the actual day where I actually got to go to the Seattle office where I was going to be working and then I got to meet my teammates and that was just an experience in itself but we, and then we went out for lunch and um, I got to see my desk and um, yeah I think that and like the Seattle office is one of the most 
I, I love that. Like New York office has its own vibe, but I, I love the Seattle, the, Seattle office because it feels just so cozy because it's like by the lake and you can grab coffee and you can sit it and sit there in the cafe and it almost feels like you are like by the lake there are like boats going by and all that stuff so anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you liked it I I hope like I did an okay job like talking about my experience I wish I had taken like more like I had done like more vlogs but honestly like I was just like so nervous and I don't think I would have done a great job <laughs> at that um, but I think like I try to like picture most of the stuff that we did and um, if you want like read more in detail like definitely go to my blog and read more about it I blog which I'm linking below in the description and um, I hope this was useful and I'll see you in another video Bye.